And again, this is why I want to light up stuff so I can see them during the night. I think I can see... There's a trader over there and there's the copper ore cave over there. And can I see the windmill? No, I can't. So lighting stuff up really does help, especially during the night. And I'm hungry. I'm full on grains already, so... I probably should start breaking out the meat. But I'll do that when the temporal storm is imminent. Anyway, let's go down here. They all should have despawned by now. And there's olivine here. We can mine it up here if I really want to. Just need to light this area. There's the pore deposit. So I'll do that last. And what I want to do is seal this off. So they should not be coming through here. And we definitely need to seal off. Oh, fuck you. Yes, we need to seal off. Fuck you. Uh, oh, come on. I should put on my armor. Probably. In fact, I'd probably seal off this area. Okay, they should not be able to get through here anymore. I should probably seal off this area as well by doing that. And then there's an entire thing up here. Just block it off. There, so sh they should not be able to get through here. That's blocked off, that's blocked off. Now I want to keep this area open. Because there are resources here, or I guess, at this point in time... Oh, there's all of being here. Or you know what? There's all of being there as well. Let's block it off. There. They cannot get through here. This way, if we have to come back down here again, there's just less area we need to secure. We do need to light this area up, though. And we also have access to the saltpeter here. Alright, so let's get mining. Uh, I'd say let's focus on the rich deposit first. I think these are two separate deposits because one's right over here and another one's right up there.
So let's start digging in. Use up the rest of the iron pickaxe here. And start digging upwards. I do have to continue watching my back just in case there is a dark area that they can still spawn in here. Well, they're definitely spawning. And there we go. Temporal storm is still approaching. Now when the temporal storm hits, I definitely do not want to be down here. It's actually a bad place to be fighting here. I want to be in the open area. And that means the surface. Or maybe back at my base. Well, I guess that's technically both. I think it's time to bust out the protein. Still 0.3 servings left. Let's get this stuff over here. Yeah, let's start mining this out. This looks like a big deposit. It's probably the same size as the other rich deposits though. But here we go. Just finish up this little section. All right, back up we go. And I'm just gonna store the bricks into the chest above. I think that's another reason why you should have a chest somewhere at the entrance there. Just so you can like bring resources up there. Clear your inventory when necessary. Now the torches should still be lit at the end of the temporal storm. I'm also going to put some packed dirt in there. Just leave like one stack in my hot bar. But it is daytime, so that does help. I'm gonna put the uh, the copper ore there. I'm thinking here, damn it. I was gonna put my armor on. All right. And I think what I'm gonna do for this temporal storm is go harvest me some cattails. Heavy temporal storm, so it's gonna be strong drifters. Oh shit. What the hell? What the hell hit me? It was a fox. What? The fox? That fox hit me for 0.75 HP.
Now, I don't want to go into the water because I don't want to be freezing. Oh. Whoa. No. Damn it. I slid right into him. Oh, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, God. No, no, no. I have to go in the water. Like, holy shit. Like, that cluster of drifters just spawned right in front of me. Those are, uh... What kind of drifters are you? Corrupt drifters. Wow. They just spawned an entire group of them, like, right in front of me. And you're all chasing me, so I'll just go this way. Getting as many cattails as possible. Oh, wow. They really want me. Okay, so... I'll just grab these cattails near the edge. Really shouldn't be on the ice either because it's reducing my mobility. Okay, I'm gonna have to cross over here. Oh, no, damn it. Okay, he's still dry, technically, according to the game. It's minus nine. So it's still warm enough. Okay, there's a copper surface node. Surface copper node, I should say. Okay, so I have 19 cattails. It's kind of hard to. Oh! Two of them spawn there. And there's a wolf. Like, I need to kill that wolf. In a better place, though. Come here, are you? Come here! Yeah. Hey. Come here, you. I'm trying to avoid the drifters. I really need to kill this wolf though. Don't want to be face checking the bushes. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Got him. I need. Okay, so I'll take this. Now I need to try to find that other wolf. Wow, it really is hard to control on the ice. Okay, so the wolf should be around here. Yeah, right over here. So we need to fight these guys so that... Come on. Guys, I'm trying to get that wolf there. If you can just please kindly get out of my way and stop spawning or something. Or you know what? Come on, come on, come on, come on! Alright, so cut them open. Just need to lead them away and then I'll take the resources. Okay, I still have plenty of space in inventory. Oh, what? All right, let's get out of here. Oh, we got some spears here. You know what? Forget the spears. So we got two wolves in that area. It should be clear of wolves now. But again, I don't know the respawning mechanics here. For all I know, I could have just led them 
from somewhere else all the way over to here where they were de-aggroed. I mean, there's just a lot of things about this game that I don't know yet, or we don't know. Like, if the wiki doesn't get filled out, then that knowledge doesn't get passed on to other people who know how to search on Google. And why am I... Why am I carrying around Tin Bronze Lantern? You know what, it's already one o'clock and it's hilly. Let's keep it on then. Now I wonder where I'm going. I have no idea. All I know is I'm going west. Oh yeah, there was a hunting area and uh, quite a few uh, of the cattails in this direction. Yeah, like right here. Except... How much uh, room around here to move? Okay, let's at least try to get some of these cattails. Oh, come on! Seriously? You just had to spawn there? What is these? Now these are parsnips. Now I do want to get those parsnips because I'm having trouble getting those pea crops. And let's play some Ring Around the Rosie. Will I get some more of these crops? Okay, yeah, I think that's it. Probably should have checked the time when the temporal storm started because I have no idea how long this is going to last. Well, I know it's going to last for like five or six hours, but I don't know when it began. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, let's not get it from the ice here. All right, I don't remember this hill. No, I think it's time for me to turn around because I think I'm about to get lost. So we're going to head in this direction, get back to the gravel area. On the way, might as well get some more cattails. They're close to the shore. If it's in lake ice, I don't want it. Might as well try to find some resin in the process. If I can. Okay, so this is the gravel area. And if we go in this direction, we'll go back to the copper ore cave. And that's a fox over there. Alright. Almost done. Alright, back to mining some copper. Go in this direction. The 
And this is the... Oh, I built that. Wait. Okay, so this direction I'm facing is east. This is north. And if we go in this direction, we're going to the trader, the um, artisan trader. I actually got disoriented for a bit. But we'll be okay. Okay. And this is done. Oh wait, I already checked you. So you want peat, charcoal, and clay. I, I can give you a little bit of clay, I guess. Wait, how long is this offer last? I really should check these things. Three days, and then you will demand new stuff. So I got 41 cattails out of that. That should be enough for three new scaps, but you know, might as well just harvest more of these now that we're out of danger. I don't like being on the ice. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna stow this stuff into the chest here. Fresh for one day, 1.4 days. Okay, let's just stow all of this stuff here. Take back some of this stuff. Should also put this down and get something more to eat. And put back our armor. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Alright, so let's get the copper now. Guess we have to get rid of this dirt. So we'll do a quick sweep of the cave, just to make sure there's no baddies. Okay, so that's blocked off. We should light up here. Okay, this is blocked off. There is nothing up there, that's why I blocked it off. Alright, let's continue mining. I do need to check the corners here. And the meteoric iron ore pickaxe doesn't seem that much faster. I guess it really isn't. It's only like 0.5 times faster. So really not that much. I think the main bonus is its durability. I think it's like 1300 I believe over I believe a thousand for the iron pickaxe. And then once we get steel, it's not going to even matter. First, we just need to get steel uh, making going. That's exactly why we're here, isn't it? It's to get the copper so we can get that uh, pulverizer automated. Yeah, 
You know what? I might as well deplete the entire cave of iron, or not iron, copper. So that's why I'm taking these poor deposits as well. I like, might as well get everything while I'm here, just so I don't have to come back here again. Because I think this is, I believe, the third time I was here. I had to relight the cave a third time. So if I can avoid doing that, that'd be great. And in the process, I'm also getting these stones so I can make more stone paths. There's more up here. Yeah, the deposit went diagonally, so we do have to check for that. Can you think of it? Did it go diagonally this way? Oh, yes, it did. Always be sure you check the diagonals. So it goes down like this, but okay, might be still the same deposit. I'm just gonna go along the border of this deposit and go from outside to in. Now for a poor deposit, this seems like really big. And it goes upwards. Or is that it? Oh, no. Goes downwards. 